In this episode of NYU Brainiacs, we're starting with our memory. Have you noticed how certain smells immediately bring you back in time? Like cut grass might remind you of a summer vacation, or a certain fragrance might trigger memories of a really bad date. It's true, your nose knows. Memory and smell are closely linked. And now NYU psychology researchers are working to understand how a negative association, like a bad smell, can actually strengthen your recollection of events. In their new study, 60 people who ranged from age 13 to 25 looked at a series of neutral images, like a chair or a snow-capped mountain. While looking at some of the photos, the participants were also exposed to a bad smell, like the odor of rotten fish or le fumier, which is the French and fancy word for manure. 24 hours later, the researchers found that for both adolescents and for adults, their memory of the images associated with the bad smell was better. So maybe that means you should smell some rotten fish while you're studying for your next test. Speaking of fish, you've probably seen video like this of thousands of fish swimming seamlessly in schools, like they're all following Google Maps and they never really crash into each other. How do they do that? Well, researchers from the NYU Applied Mathematics Lab say the secret is in the wake. This region of disturbed flow is the wake, and it's created by the fish in front as they move through fluid. And it turns out it's a pathway that the other fish are happy to follow. To learn how this works, the researchers created robotic fish, or flapping hydrofoils, to mimic the patterns of real fish. They discovered that if one is going too slow, it'll use the wake for a little boost. And if another fish is moving too fast, it'll be repelled by the leader's wake. Surfing the wake is fluid dynamics in action, and it could help spark new ideas for how to harness natural energy from rivers, for example. And it turns out that birds like to surf the wake also while they're flying in flocks. And speaking of our feathered friends, where exactly are they going and when? Well, that is the question the Bird Vox Project is trying to answer. NYU's Music and Audio Research Lab is using microphone sensors to detect bird calls and determine their species. They're working together with the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, and the goal is to monitor seasonal migratory patterns automatically and in real time. The NYU researchers are training the sensors by exposing them to various bird calls, like the distinct sound of a cardinal, whether it's nearby or far away and flying through a rainstorm. Once they're trained, the so-called smart sensors will provide automatic bioacoustic analysis, and that'll give scientists better data on what impacts migration. And if we know where they're going, that could also lead to better ways to prevent birds from flying into hazardous situations like wind turbine fields or airports. There he is. It's going to be okay. If you want to see more of our cool research, head to nyu.edu slash news. And of course, you can check out all our social media channels. I'm Sapna Parikh, and I'll see you next time.